हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड वाओ व्हाट अ इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक फॉर द डे दैट इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ टाइम हियर स्टूडेंट्स स्मॉल कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन अ टीचर एंड द स्टूडेंट्स ओके स्टूडेंट हियर अ चाइल्ड May I come in, teacher? Teacher, yes, but look at the clock. You are late today. What time do you wake up? I wake up when the sun rises in the morning. So, you can read the time in the clock. No, teacher, I can't read the time in the clock. students so today i will teach you how to read time in the clock okay here in this clock students you can see the green hand is called the short hand which is the r hand and the red hand is known as the minute hand and long hand also the small hand shows the hours that is 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 4 o'clock 5 o'clock 6 o'clock 7 o'clock 8 o'clock 9 o'clock 10 o'clock 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock then the long hand shows the minutes that is 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds and what about the hour and 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes so one second i repeat students you can see in this clock here the long hand which is in red color that is a minute hand and the short hand which is in green color that is a yes very good that is a hour hand here let me explain you about the minutes students in previous slide i have explained you about the hour hand now let me explain you about the minutes hand here students here on your screen you can see clock here yes how many clocks are there yes there are three clocks here and this three clock is having different timings so let me explain you about this three clock time let me talk about the first clock here so you can see here in first clock the short hand is on 7 that is r hand and what about the long hand it's on 12 and long hand it is a minutes hand so the time is in first clock it is 7 o'clock exact now what about the middle clock here yes of middle clock yes short hand on 8 and long hand on 3 so students so the time is 8:15 now the third clock here you can see where is the short hand and long hand yes short hand is in between Six and the seven. It means it's a hour hand. And what about the long hand here? Yes, long hand means it's a minutes hand. Yes, it is on six. So students, what is the time here? Yes, very good students. Here the time is six thirty p.m. means six thirty evening. students here now you can see the picture of clock yes but in clock you can see yes which hand is moving here second hand that is called second hand here so which is moving the thinnest hand this shows us how many seconds we are in current minute for this lesson 
the second hand is not needed cause telling the time doesn't require for how many seconds have passed but students sometimes second hand is also important for example when you will be having your sports yes on sports ground so they need that time the clock that is called timer means stopwatch so that time each like 1 second or 2 second is very important that time to see who is the winner okay so this is the important of second i hope all have understood about the second year students here the easy way to read out the time by the five times table students as you know you all know about the five time tables that is if the short hand on 12 and the minutes hand move slowly starting from 12 students short hand means r and and the long hand means the minutes hand so students you can see here on your screen in the clock the short hand that is r and it is on 12 so student that is 12 1 is 5 minutes 12 2 it's 10 minutes when it moves slowly then 12 3 it's 15 minutes 12 4 it's 20 minutes 12 5 it's 25 minutes 12 6 it's 30 minutes 12 7 it's 35 minutes 12 8 it's 40 minutes 12 9 it's 45 minutes 12 10 it's 50 minutes 12 11 it's 55 minutes and the last is 12 12 it's 60 minutes means it's complete full 1 hour so here the table we read as 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 55 and the last 60 so 60 minutes here so students to understand the time in a better way you can use five table also okay here you can see the clock yes students you can see on the clock the times which are related to your daily life so for first example here the first clock you can see the short hand means the r hand between 12 and the 1 that is called r hand short hand and the long hand it's on 6 means it's a minutes hand so students 12:30 pm you reach school and in the second clock you can see the short hand is on 1 and the long hand it's on 12 so it's exact 1 o'clock at 1 o'clock your school starts with prayer in the third watch in third clock you can see here students yes the short hand is on 2 that is r hand and the long hand it's that is a minute hand it's on 12 so it's exact 2 o'clock in the third clock at 2 o'clock you will have your english class and in the fourth clock you can see here the short hand is on 3 that is r hand and the long hand it's on 12 so here is exact 3 o'clock at 3 o'clock you will have computer class and here downside the fifth clock you can see the short hand that is r hand is on 4 and the long hand it's on 12 so here also exact 4 o'clock and student 
what is down four o'clock yes it's a recess time yes at four o'clock you all have your recess and after recess we might be having your classes yes five o'clock now here the last clock you can see your six o'clock in the evening the short hand in purple color you can see students on six that is our hand and the minute hand on 12 means exact six o'clock in the evening you all will leave from the school so students understood this is the time related to your daily routine life related to your school life okay students today we are going to talk more about how to measure time here okay now the actual measurement of the time students now whatever we have talked that is all about the clock and the time now the actual time of measurement okay okay now let us read out this on the ground what you can see yes we can see that boys yes run so let us see more about what the boy does okay every morning hurry runs the whole ground in 10 minutes so students hurry runs whole ground in 10 minutes if hurry starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and completes its run at 8 10 a.m. means in the morning so student if the hurry runs he start from 8 o'clock and he completes the whole ground at 8 10 so he run for 10 minutes so here the measurement of time hurry runs the whole ground is for 10 minutes and one on the terrace students you can see here what they are doing yes they are doing some exercise some yoga so every morning sonal does yoga for 30 minutes on the terrace sonal starts at 6 o'clock and completes at 6 30 am so students sonal what time she starts yoga 6 o'clock and she completes at 6 30 so sonal took how many minutes yes 30 minutes for completing her yoga so here the measurement of time is 30 minutes yes 30 minutes for completing her yoga here the small conversation between two friends student after this you will have a good idea about the measurement of time okay anil hi sam why are you late to the school today sam i came walking to the school so i am late today anil by what time do you leave from school sam i leave by one o'clock in the afternoon anil and when do you reach the school sam i reach by 1 15 pm oh anil sam you take 15 minutes to reach the school sam yes so students in this conversation we come to know that sam he lead from his house one o'clock in the afternoon and when did he reach to the school at 1 15 pm so what sam is telling here sam you take 15 minutes to reach the school so how many minutes yes so total 15 minutes to reach the school to the sam so in the kitchen 
every afternoon mother goes to kitchen to cook the lunch she start at 1 o'clock and completes at 2 pm so students so mother takes 1 hour to complete cooking the lunch 1 to 2 pm 1 pm to 2 pm yes there are 60 minutes once again i explain to students 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour so mother takes 1 hour to complete cooking the lunch next example the last one working woman yes pretty started her work at 5 o'clock and completed it at 7 pm so students if pretty started her work at 5 o'clock and completed it at 7 pm so how many hours she took yes she took two hours so pretty took two hours to complete her work here the activity time now so students what you have to do is that you have to take out your notebook and you have to yes you have to draw the clock in your book and you have to identify the time once again i repeat students write on hours and minutes the time that each clock is showing what you have to do is that yes the short hand is a hour hand and the long hand is a yes it's a minute hand so each and every clock you have to write you have to identify the time and you have to write it and post it in your whatsapp group so here students here's the answer means you have to not copy you have to check whether your answer is correct or no okay the given time and draw the hands of the clock below to show that time students what you have to do is that here you have to read the given time and you have to draw the hands of the clock below to show that time in first clock you can see 10 minutes past 5 second clock 5 minutes past 9 third clock 20 minutes past 6 and in the fourth clock 35 minutes past 11 so students you have to draw the hands to the clock and show the time and post it in your whatsapp school group write in the table below approximately how many minutes or hours or days it takes for each of the following to happen with the help of your mother or your family member rice gets cooked in the pressure cooker second one mother cooks a meal third one the water tanks get filled fourth one a sweater is knitted and the fifth one a rose bud blooms into a flower all those you have to do students with the help of your family member you have to measure the time and you have to write here and you have to post in your whatsapp group so thank you dear students